morning to all welcome to fundamentals of environmental engineering course in this class we discuss the so solid waste control measures the main purpose of solid waste management is to minimize the adverse effect on the environment and the main objective is to reduce the uh, adverse effect of the environment due to due to this uh, solid waste and the steps involved are there are mainly steps for the control measures of the waste waste that is collection of solid waste disposal of solid waste and utilization of this waste then collection of solid waste how we collect the waste for this waste management collection of waste include gathering the waste transporting it to a centralized location and then moving it to a site of disposal that is the called solid waste collection system collection of waste include gathering the waste transporting it to a centralized facility or centralized location and then moving to the site of disposal the collected waste is then separated into hazardous and non hazardous material hazardous material can be um, disposed in a particular specific designed area and non hazardous material uh, collected it can be reused or recycled material that can be picked out and it can be disposed in another area collection the collection of solid waste include the gathering of solid waste and the handling of waste after collection to the location there are different type of collection methods are in there that including community storage point is there kept site collections are there community storage point means the municipal refuse is taken to fixed storage bins and stored till the waste collection agency collect it daily that is called a community storage point a particular area we can put a bin then the people are going to put that and then the bin is uh, once it is uh, the storage is full it can be transferred to a storage collection area then curbside collection in advance of the collection time the refuse is brought in containers and placed on a footway from where it collected by the waste collecting agency then another method is the block collection is there individuals bring waste in containers and hand over to the collection staff who empties it into the waiting vehicle the transfer and transportation next is the first the collection there are mainly three collection methods are there community storage uh, collection points curbside collection and block collection are the three collection methods used for solid waste management then second is the transfer and the transport the transfer of waste from the smaller collection vehicle to the larger transport agreements the subsequent transport of the waste usually over long distance to the disposed site transfer st station means a trans transfer station is a fa facility at which solid waste from individual collection truck are consolidated into a large vehicle such as tractor unit etc then individual transfer station capacity is there there are 100 tons to 500 tons um, waste per day is there in our kerala that is processing and recovery it include all the techniques equipments and facilities used both to improve the efficiency of other functional elements and to re uh, recover usable materials conversion products or energy from solid waste that is the processing or recovery uh, unit collection are mainly uh, collection then transport and third step is a processing or recovery Uh, then what are the there are the different device pro, proposed to reduce the collection cost is there in the point of environmental engineering that is garbage grinders is there pneumatic pipes is there compactors is there oleum reduction systems is there shredding uh, pulverization hammer mills baling thermal oleum reduction these are the different method for the reducing the uh, um, reduce the collection cost next is the disposal of solid waste 
um, before the final disposal of solid waste it is process to recover the usable resources and to improve the efficiency of the solid waste disposal system the main process technologies are the compaction combustion and manual separation first combustion there are mainly three type of combustion techniques are there um, combustion is baling and the other method are called combustion baling um shedding etc then combustion uh, this is a main there are mainly three combustion techniques are there incineration gasification and pyrolysis there is uh, the first one is very important that is incineration it is a disposal method in which solid organic waste are subjected to combustion so as to convert them to residue and gaseous product the advantage is the energy recovery through uh, complete oxidation also called as thermal treatment incineration is otherwise known as thermal treatment by using this uh, incineration method we can generate large amount of energy from solid waste simply the process of burning the garbage into ash is known as incineration it can reduce the volume of solid waste decrease the space they take up and reduce the stress on the landfills the major advantage of incineration is that make waste management easier and more efficient because incineration can burn up to 90 percentage of the total waste generated and sometimes even more as a comparison landfill only allow organic decomposition so non organic waste keep accumulating according to uh, different rules only we can um, bend or decompose the landfill only organic material can be used for this process of incineration then disadvantage of waste incineration is there there are so, um, so many advantages there but also there are uh, different disadvantages there for waste incineration it is expensive the installation of incineration plant is expensive process that is one of the disadvantages pollute the environment incinerator produce smoke damage public health the possibility of long term problems ash waste can potentially harm people and the environment then environmental racism is there next method of uh, waste uh, energy recovery is gasification gasification is a partial oxidation process using air pure oxygen oxygen enriched air or stream carbon converted into syngas more flexible than incineration more public acceptance gasification is a comparatively advanced technique compared to incineration then uh, there is a gasification is also known as called a pyrolytic distillation because it is used high temperature the is a thermochemical process that convert the biomass into combustible gas called uh, producer gas or syngas syngas and the producer gas are the gas uh, bio that is produced from the combust the combustible gas produced from convert biomass into a flammable components producer gas contain carbon monoxide hydrogen water vapor carbon dioxide tar vapor and ash particles these emissions are produced when the waste residue is burned at a high temperature that lead to the formation of toxic gas such as uh, dioxin furans polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon that is pah oxygen sulfur and nitrogen they cause abrasion corrosion formation of sediments and degradation reactions the volume of contaminant substance in the gas generated during the gasification is directly dependent on the contamination of uh, solid fuel uh, that's another one that's the second method is the gasification and third method that is called pyrolysis uh, pyrolysis is a method of degradation of carbonaceous material Uh, and is a lower temperature than gasification absence of limited oxygen 
that means absence or limited oxygen is the important of pyrolysis in gasification it is occur in the presence of oxygen that is the difference there are a number of technical challenges facing the development of pyrolysis pyrolysis is an endothermic process uh, requiring a substantial heat input to raise the biomass to reduce temperature although the heat of reaction is insignificant the primary disadvantage of pyrolysis process are the product stream is most complex than for many alternative treatments the product gas cannot be vented directly into the cabin without further treatment because of the high carbon monoxide concentration another method of uh, waste um, is the treatment is a pulverization the method of uh, grinding the garbage into powder is known as pulverizer then another method of waste treatment in this method the garbage is first dried in the sun or few sun for few days then it is grinded then another is the manual separation waste separation is a process by uh, which the waste is separated into different elements dry waste uh, wet waste and there's a manual separation point is there then next is the last step is a dumping dumping is the material where mainly for dry refuse uh, we put a uh, substance uh, there are two different type of dumps are there open dumps and uh, closed dumps are there open dump means cause degradation environment because the open burning of the ground we dump the waste into them then another burning provided material and another method is the land filling this method is a uh, very suitable for low lying area for the filling of the waste that will uh, the landfill will be discussed in the next class thank you